Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. Now, if you're just like me and you like to eat, you really like food, but you're trying to do it in the most healthy way to kind of meet your active lifestyle, you're going to want to stay tuned to our next guest. This is John. He's with SUPS here in the Madison area. Excited to have you here today. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. People think of SUPS usually as a supplement store, obviously for health and nutrition. They're maybe not thinking of you as a place to get food, but they're wrong. They might be wrong. They, they might be wrong. Yeah, we actually have a really good selection of food items, especially cool. those that you're not going to you know, necessarily find in the grocery store yep. and items that are going to help you along with your diet, um, prep for those who are competing and any fitness goals that you have. Now you've got pizza here, which caught my attention the second yep. you walked into the studio. And kind of our theme today is talking about the keto diet, which has been a kind of a trending topic. Tell me a little bit about it before we get started. So the keto diet, just like you said, it's, it's a very trending topic right yeah. now. And it's a trendy diet. And what it really is, is it's kind of, it's almost like the Atkins diet, if people are familiar with that, mm -hmm. where it's low carb, but the twist is it's very high in fat. So the reason you are taking in so much fat is because you're taking away carbohydrates as mm -hmm. your body's fuel source. You're basically replacing it with fat and you're getting your body to actually burn fat. Now eventually that will get you into a state of ketosis where you're producing oh. these ketone bodies for energy as opposed to taking it in through uh, dietary carbohydrates. Okay, I always think it's interesting how you know science always changes. For a long time, we had it drilled into our heads, fat is bad, fat yep. is bad, and with more research, we're kind of finding out that you can trick your body into thinking this is its primary source, right? Exactly. And that's how it's gonna burn, make, help you lose weight. Exactly, and there's not really any macronutrient that's bad or the enemy. You know, a lot yeah. of people think carbs are bad or sugars or, and everything like that. You need them just in moderation, but the keto diet is one sort of extreme that will yeah. actually help you lose weight, and it's very trendy right now. Okay, and with the pizza, this is important, people. You can eat <laughs> pizza. Yes. Is that what you're telling me, John? Exactly. So our pizzas only have about here. four grams of carbohydrates. Okay. So if you're low-carb dieting, if you're on a keto diet, and a lot of people just absolutely love pizza, you know, and if I you pizza. are on a low-carb or keto diet, you can't have pizza. You're going to ruin your totally. diet if you have it. So this is one way where you can actually have pizza and stay in your diet. Not only is it low carb, but it's also high protein. Each one of these pizzas have 25 grams of protein, which is what you'd get in a scoop of whey protein, hmm. and it's under 300 calories. So it's actually a really good uh, dietary option. You know, you can bring them with you, heat them up uh, easily, Yum. whatever. And they so. taste good. I've tried different kinds of pizza before. Sometimes I've tried like a cauliflower crust and yep. wasn't good. This one has my seal of approval. Good. It's tasty and good for you, and you can eat pizza. What, what more can you ask for? Exactly. You guys also, of course, do a lot of protein, mm -hmm. um, and this is kind of a twist on that as well with the keto diet, Exactly, correct? yep. Okay. So yes, we sell a lot of different kinds of, of proteins, whey proteins, caseins, um, egg, and all sorts of different proteins. What this is, this is a high fat protein. So okay. people who are doing the keto diet, generally, you want to get about 75% of your calories from fat. Now, if wow. you're eating, yeah, regular everyday foods, it's really tough to hit that mark. So especially if you're taking in a protein supplement, it's really hard to keep your fats high. So that's why we have something like Keto Feed where you're getting you know, quite a bit of fat out of this. Um, and it's only a gram of carbohydrates. You're getting 10 grams of fat and 25 grams of protein, I believe. Awesome. So it, it's an awesome option if you are low carb dieting, keto dieting, and the taste is, is great, honestly. And I'm gonna mix them up for us here. And what did you say this one was? I got to pick. This is the it's a Samoa. Samoa. Like, Samoa chocolate cream. Like Girl Scout yeah, cookies. Yeah, like Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's super good. And there's a lot of different things you can do with this. You can cook with it. A lot of people will put it in their coffee. Okay. Um, you know, one of the, the recipes I want to talk about today was I actually use it to make protein ice cream. So if Ooh. you're on a keto diet especially, again, you can't have things with carbohydrates, you can't have yeah. ice cream. But if you use this, you can actually make ice cream out of it yes. without ruining your diet. So I love the creative things you can do with this stuff because if you don't have a lot of time, you can always keep a blender bottle exactly. like this. Great yeah. for at the office, um, you know, if you're going to a workout, to keep this in your car even, all yep. you need is water. It's a great diet saver. And yeah. like you said, convenient if you're out somewhere and you didn't bring along food, you can use this. Which if you're like me and you get in that position when you're really, really hungry, your blood mm -hmm. sugar gets low, I always make bad choices. Exactly. It's I can always tell it's gonna happen. Do you wanna try? Yeah. I'm gonna try this too. Cheers. Cheers. Yep. Oh yum. It Isn't really that good? tastes like the cookie. Yeah, right. I'm so amazed. <laughs> and awesome. it's got um, it's got MCT wow. oil in it, and it actually gives it a really good flavor, I think. Um, so the other thing about this is it's also a slow digesting protein. So if you're dieting, 
This will digest slowly over a period of, let's say, like six hours okay. and keep your metabolism ramped. So it's great for dieters in general. Okay. So is this something you could drink before you're about to head to a workout? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Um, I think, you know, honestly, it depends on what kind of diet you're doing. Sure. But if you're doing the keto thing, if you're doing low carb, this would be an awesome option for before your workout. Now, what other products do you guys have at SUPS? You guys have eight total locations, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, what else do you guys have there? So we have a ton of pre-workouts, which you tried the other day, it yes. sounds like. <laughs> yes, I've tried the Very pre intense pre-workouts, as well as the more entry-level ones. So I'll have but to that's get you some what of I those. think is really nice about being able to go in somewhere or yes. call and to be able to talk to someone, which mm -hmm. I probably should have done before I just took a pre-workout, right. to find something that's going to line up with you know, what your you. needs are, yep. um, you know, what you're trying to accomplish in your workout. You know, you don't always want to take pre-workout mm -hmm. if you're planning on just walking a couple miles. Well, and we train our employees very well, and they awesome. know, you know, a lot of our employees are competitors for fitness competitions and things like that. Cool. Very well educated in fitness and supplementation. So mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, I've had many people comment to me that they'll go online and read three different articles that have three different opinions, you know. Totally. So this is a way to come in somewhere and get actual advice from someone who knows what they're talking about. Now I want to do a shout out again to these brands because mm -hmm. people are probably going to watch this and think, I want that in particular. Yes. So this is Real Good Pizza Company, yep. only at SUPS. Only it's at SUPS. the only place you can Correct. get it right now. Yeah, only place in Madison. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. And then... So this, this is particular? Purist Labs Keto Feed. So Purist Labs is one of our top brands. Um, and this is the ketogenic protein. We also have a regular protein that we carry from them, awesome. which is very good quality as well. Awesome. So if you're looking to learn more about the keto diet, be sure to go see John at SUPS, or you can always go online or any of their eight locations. They've got fantastic folks over there. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah, it was a pleasure to be and on. And bringing me pizza. Absolutely. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, people. This is The Restaurant Show. Stay with us. We'll be back with more right here on Wisconsin's 57 Television.